Hey and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the 10 longest rivers in North America. Please be sure to subscribe for more amazing content. And for more information on this, check out the link below in the description. The rivers of North America are the primary source of fresh water for the continent, making them essential natural resources. What do the rivers in North America look like? How large are these rivers? What types of wildlife live in and around them? Let's take a look at the 10 longest rivers in North America. As we explore these rivers, we will be measuring their size based on length rather than depth or discharge amounts. How do you measure rivers? Before we begin, first, we need to provide a short note on measuring rivers. It's not as exact as it sounds. For one, the distance of rivers changes as they carve new paths. Another complication is that rivers sometimes flow through lakes, so some sources will handle measuring through lakes differently. Most importantly, the distance of river systems depends on which headwater or tributary you're measuring from. For example, it's still debated where the Nile begins, and a new source for the Amazon River was just discovered in 2014. For the sake of this article, we're measuring just river stems rather than systems. For example, when measuring the headwaters of the Missouri River to the end of the Mississippi River, the entire river system is 3,902 miles. However, the Missouri River itself is 2,341 miles, while the Mississippi measures 2,320 miles. As you can see, measuring rivers is complicated. Many sources will list the Mackenzie River as the second longest in North America at 2,635 miles. That means that while different lists of the longest rivers will have varying lists, it doesn't mean that they're wrong, but instead they may simply be measuring different definitions of river length. With all that explanation out of the way, let's get to the list. Red River. The Red River's main stem is 1,125 miles long, spanning across the U.S. states of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. This river is named for the red color of its water. As it flows, it passes through red beds, red sedimentary rocks due to the presence of ferric oxides. This adds a reddish color to the water. This river eventually flows into the Atchafalaya River, creating a river system that spans 1,360 miles in total. The Red River of the South is also unique because it is notably salty, even though this excess saltiness doesn't come from the ocean. Peace River the Peace River is the 12th largest river in North America, stretching for 1,195 miles across Canada. It begins in the Rocky Mountains of northern British Columbia. The river flows through Alberta until it joins the Athabasca River. The two rivers combine to form the Slave River, which is a tributary of the Mackenzie River. Saskatchewan River the Saskatchewan River is the 11th largest river in North America. It flows through Canada for 1,205 miles, running from the Rocky Mountains to Cedar Lake in central Manitoba. The Saskatchewan River is home to a wealth of wildlife, with over 200 species of birds, 48 species of fish, and an abundance of mammals. Columbia River the Columbia River flows for 1,243 miles through the United States of America and Canada. It begins in the Rocky Mountains of British Columbia and Canada and flows northwest. The river turns west to form the border between Washington and Oregon and then empties into the Pacific Ocean. The Columbia River provides homes and breeding grounds to many anadromous fish like coho, steelhead, sockeye, and chinook salmon as well as white sturgeon. Colorado River The Colorado River is the seventh longest river in North America. Beginning in the central Rocky Mountains in Colorado, the river's watershed flows through seven U.S. states, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, Nevada, Arizona, and California. The Colorado River also runs through the Grand Canyon and 11 different U.S. national parks. The Colorado River is home to 40 species of fish, many of which are unique to this river, like the razorback sucker, bony-tailed chub, Colorado pike minnow, and the humpback chub. Arkansas River 
The Arkansas River flows for 1,460 miles through the United States of America. The river starts in the Rocky Mountains near Leadville, Colorado. It flows through three U.S. states, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. In Arkansas, it joins the Mississippi River. The course of the Arkansas River carved Arkansas Valley in Arkansas. Rio Grande River the Rio Grande is the fourth largest river in North America and the largest river in the U.S. state of Texas. The river begins in south-central Colorado, then flows southeast through New Mexico and Texas until it empties into the Gulf of Mexico. The Rio Grande forms the national border between the United States and Mexico within Texas. The Rio Grande supplies water to agricultural regions. The Rio Grande is designated as an American Heritage River. Yukon River The Yukon River is the third largest river in North America. The river starts in British Columbia in Canada and flows through the Canadian territory of Yukon. The upper basin of the Yukon River has alpine tundra with sections of boreal forests. The Yukon River is one of the most important rivers for salmon breeding. It has one of the longest salmon runs globally, hosting coho, chum, and chinook salmon. Predators like grizzly, brown, and black bears eat the fish living in the river. Mississippi River The Mississippi is the second largest river in North America and is 2,320 miles long. The Mississippi River flows through 10 U.S. states, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana. The Mississippi River was an essential part of the growth of the United States of America. Today, it continues to be one of the world's most important commercial waterways. The Mississippi River provides a habitat for an abundance of wildlife. Here are just a few examples. At least 260 species of fish, several species of turtle, at least 145 species of amphibians and reptiles, including the American alligator more than 50 mammal species, 300 rare, threatened, or endangered species. The Mississippi River and Mississippi River Basin also provides one of North America's greatest migration routes for fish and birds. Missouri River The Missouri River is the largest in the United States and North America. This river flows through seven states in the United States, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri. It flows for 2,341 miles until it joins the Mississippi River at St. Louis, Missouri. When the two rivers come together, they appear to be different colors. This is because the silt in the Missouri River makes it appear much lighter. There are 300 species of birds and 150 species of fish in the Missouri River Basin. Two of these fish species are native to the Missouri River, although rare, the paddlefish and the pallid sturgeon. The pallid sturgeon is an endangered species that can weigh around 85 pounds and live up to 100 years. Keep reading, we think you'll like these other pages about snakes and other amazing animals. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to give your opinion, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.